in this session we are going to continue about operators and we are going to learn about arithmetic operators what are arithmetic operators and what are the actions that can be performed using this operators now we are having addition operator inside this okay which will be adding the numbers we are having subtraction operator which is going to subtract we are having multiplication operator division operator division operator is nothing but it is going to give the quotient whatever quotient we will be getting it is going to give that result now if i just take an example i will be showing you practically as well two here i will be writing here two divided by four so two twos are four a remainder will be zero so it is going to give me this result okay the quotient this is nothing but a remainder and that remainder will be generated using this modulus operator and we are having increment and decrement operators and inside this operator basically we are having two categories inside increment operator we are having post increment operator and pre increment operator in the same way for decrement operator we are having post decrement operator and pre decrement operator now one by one we are going to see examples of each of the operator and we are going to understand where these operators are used now i have opened my vs code editor inside this first we are going to see about arithmetic operators first i'm just going to see about addition operator now first what i'm going to do i'll just create one variable let x is equal to 5 before that let me just tell you about this equal to operator okay this is nothing but this is called as assignment operator now whatever value i have given here that value will be assigned to this variable so this is called as assignment operator so in the same way i'm just going to give here y y and for this let me just write here 50 now finally i'm just going to create one more variable i'll just write here result and inside this i will just write here x plus y now when i do console console dot log let me just write this log here i will be writing result let me just remove this dot i will save this as soon as i save this one you can see x is 5 so this value will be coming here and y is 50 so this value will be coming here so 5 plus 50 i will be getting the result as 55 now this is the basic okay here i am having numbers so it is getting added now in place of this if i just have a string okay string we have already seen the number or value the word whatever it is if it is wrapped inside single quotes or double quote it will be treated as a string now this x is number but y is string now when i try to add number and string what it happens you can see i will be getting 5 as my result then 50 it is going to concatenate it is not going to add the number it is just going to concatenate this one and now the final result of this will be our string now if i just write here console console dot log and inside this if i just write here type of type of result i will save this now you can see type of result will be our string after adding number and string the type of the result will also become a string so you should always remember this one when we add numbers it is going to add but when we try to add string and number it is going to concatenate now suppose in place of this i am having one more variable that is z now for z i have just given here 4 now what happens first it is just going to add this numbers i will write here x plus z plus y i will save this now you can see first it will be adding okay here i am having two numbers so x plus z 5 plus 4 i will be getting 9 
then this string it is going to concatenate with this 9. So, I will be getting 950. Now, suppose if I just write here x at the end. Now, what happens? Let us just see here. If I just write here x, z, you can see first I will be getting 5. Then I have y. So, it is going to concatenate. Then after that I am having 4. Again, it is just going to concatenate. Okay, this is the result I will be getting. Now, this is not a number. This is basically a string. Because we have concatenated one string. So, our result will become string. Now, if I just remove this double quotes from here. This is also a number. This is also a number. And this is also a number. So, our final result will be 59. And also the type of the result will become number. Now, 59 will be our number. Okay, this is all about arithmetic operators. Numbers will be added. Numbers and strings will be concatenated. Now, let's see about subtraction. Let me just copy the same example. And here I will be pasting that one. In place of this, okay, we cannot redeclare let variables i will be writing here minus and also i will be writing here minus i will save this now our final result is minus 49 and type of result is number now what happen if i just write here string i will save this now you can see even after writing string i am getting the same result minus 49 there is no logic in it this is just a bug in javascript when we try to subtract number and string, it is going to give the same result. Okay, it is going to give the type as number and also it is going to subtract as well. Okay, this is nothing but this is just a bug in JavaScript. Now, suppose if I just write here 0, I will save this, I will be getting the result as 1. Now, here again, if I just write here string. You can see I will be getting the result as 1. It will be subtracting and also at the end I will be getting the type as number. Okay, this is all about subtraction operator. I will copy the same thing. And below this I will be pasting this. Now we are going to see about multiplication operator. Let me just remove this. I will write here 4. x into z. I will save this. Now I will be getting 5 into 4 as 20. Now what happens if I just give a string? I will save this and also multiplication it is going to happen. String and number it is going to multiply and also the result will be generated as 20 and type of that result will be a number. Only while performing addition, the string and numbers will be concatenated. But subtraction, multiplication, we are going to get the same result. Okay, this is nothing but this is just a simple bug in JavaScript. I will copy. I will be coming down. Now we are going to see about division operator. I will remove, let me just remove this one. And also here I will be removing this x divided by y. And here let me just write here 4 by 2. 4 by 2 the result should be 2. Okay 4 divided by 2. I have already shown you this is going to give the quotient as a result. Now suppose if I just write here 3. 3 divided by 6. I will save this. Now our quotient is nothing but 0 0.5. Quotient in the sense. Let me just explain you. Now here if I am having 3, 3 divided by 6. So 3 2 is a 6. The result will be 0 and this will be my result. Okay, 2 will be my quotient. Now if I have 6 divided by 3, first I will be taking here 0 point and here I will be adding the 0. 6 5 is a 30. So here I will be having 30 and 0. So 0 0.5 will be my answer. Okay, that is the result I have got there. That is 0 0.5. Whatever quotient we are having, that we are going to get using this division operator. 
let me just copy this and below i will be pasting now we are going to see about modulus operator modulus operator i'll just change here modulus operator is nothing but it is just going to give the remainder as a result now you can see three modulus of three modulus of 6 i will be getting the result as 3 because 6 and here i'll be writing 3 let me just show you now here i am having 6 and here i'll be having 3 0 i will be writing 0 so remainder will be 3 okay this remainder we are going to get the result so in the same way if i just give here 6 and here if i just give here 3 i will save this now our remainder will be 0 okay we will not be having anything in the remainder 3 into 2 is 6 so the remainder will be 0 this will be our result this is all about modulus operator division operator will be giving the quotient using modulus operator we will be getting the remainder as a result okay we have exponential operator as well now if i just write here 3 power 2 Now I just want to print this inside console. I will copy this one. And here I will be pasting that. I will save this. Now what it is going to give me? It is just going to give 9. Because it will whatever I have written here. This will be the power and this will be the base. So 3 power 2 will be 9. 3 into 3 that is 9. Now if I just give here 3. 3 power 3 will be. 27 okay we will be getting power this is called as exponential and it will be giving the power now if i just write here 8 and here i will be writing 8 power 2 i will be getting as 64 if i just write here 8 power 3 i will be getting as 512 okay using this exponential operator we can get the power of a number okay these are called as arithmetic operators you Addition operator, subtraction operator, multiplication operator, division operator, modulus operator, and exponential operator. Now we are having increment and decrement operators as well. Okay, that is a concept in itself because those operators are very, very important. In next session, we are going to learn more deeply about increment and decrement operators. And also we are going to see some of the practice sets so that you will understand about that operators in more better way and in more clear way.